Hi, I'm Mrs. Stegman. I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Spearville Elementary. And today was book character day. And I would like to share a little bit from my book, Little House on the Prairie. And several of my fifth graders have dressed as their favorite character and they're going to share some of their book with you. Going West. Long time ago, when all the grandfathers and grandmothers of today were little boys and little girls, or very small babies, or perhaps not even born, Papa and Mama and Mary and Laura and Baby Carrie left their little house in the big woods for West of Wisconsin. They drove away and left it lonely and empty in a clearing among the big trees, and they never saw the little house again. They were going to Indian Territory. Pa said there were too many people in the big woods now. Quite often Laura heard the ringing thud of the axe, which was not Pa's axe, or the echo of a shot that did not come from his gun. The path that went by the little house had become a road. Almost every day Laura and Mary stopped their playing and started stared in surprise at the wagon slowly creaking by on that road. Now we'll have one of the kids share. I'm Tegan and I'm from Bunny and I'm going to be the rabbit from Bunny My Honey. Mommy Rabbit had a baby. His name was Bunny. He looked just like his mommy, only smaller. He had long ears, a twitchy nose, and great big feet. Honey My Bunny. Bunny my honey, mommy rabbit, like to call him. I'm Camry, and I'm acting as Wilbur off of Charlotte's Web. Please don't kill it, she sobbed. It's unfair. Mr. Arable stopped walking. Fern, he said gently. You'll have to learn to control yourself. Control myself, field fern? This is a matter of life and death. You talk about controlling myself. Tear. I'm Steven, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Pikachu from Pokemon. The red pouches on Pikachu's cheeks store up electricity while it sleeps. It often lives delivers a zap when encountering something unfamiliar. Possible moves, tail whip, thundershock, growl, play nice, quick attack, thunder wave, electro ball, double team, nuzzle, slam, thunderbolt, faint, agility, mischarge, light screen, thunder. My name is Brayden and I'm acting as the character Jonas from The Giver. The the prop I have today is an apple, which signifies the first time my character Jonas sees the color red. It was almost December and Jonas was beginning to be frightened. No, wrong word, Jonas thought. Fri frightened meant that deep, sickening feeling of something terrible about to happen. Frightened was the way he had felt a year ago when an unidentified aircraft had flown, had overflown the community twice. It had been, it had seen, he had seen it both times, squinting toward the sky. He had seen the sleek jet, almost a blur as its high speed, go past, and a second later he heard the blast of sound that followed. Then one more time, a moment later, from the opposite direction, the same plane. At first, he had only been fascinated. He had never seen the aircraft so close. For, for it was against the rules for pilots to fly over the community. Occasionally, when supplies were deliver, were deliver, were delivering, delivered by cargo planes to the to the landing field across the river. The children rode their bicycles to the riverbank and watched. Intrigued, the unloading and, to, and then take off directed to, be, to the west, always from the community. 
My name is Faith, and I'm the character of the Black Stallion off of the Black Stallion. His mane was like crest, mounting then falling low. His neck was long and slender and arched to the small, savagely beautiful head. The head was that of the wild of all wild creatures, a stallion born wild, and it was beautiful, savage, splendid. A stallion with a wonderful physical perfection that ma matched his savage, ruthless spirit. Once again, the black screamed and rose on his hind legs. Alec could hardly believe his eyes and ears. A stallion, a wild stallion, unbroke such as he had read and dreamed about. My name is Parker Anderson, and I'm going to be doing... I'm the character off of Babe Ruth. But sometimes Babe's body and Babe's bat and this small white ball are completely gone. Then it, uh, it is as it should be, smooth as silk, easy as air on the face, R right as falling water. Then there is, then there is only the echo. Nothing quiet like its sound and soft feel of the fat part of the bat and the center of the ball. Babe understands his feeling. He does not know when or where, but he waits for it. He waits again and again. Thanks for watching our video. We enjoyed sharing our time with you.